Hi, Craig Howard here today. Um, I saw something on the news this morning that really, to be honest with you, it kind of upset me. Um, they were showing, I don't know who does the rankings in this or who, you know, who's responsible for doing this research, but they were showing uh, the happiest state in the country. Uh, this was on uh, HLN News. The happiest state in the country is Hawaii. Now, I can get that. Okay, I can, I can, I can handle that. And then uh, two and three came in. And I think it was Arizona and um, I think it was Wyoming. But then uh, the, the absolute 50th state, the state that, come in, that came in the least happy in the nation was West Virginia. And that really upset me because I, I, I don't see that. But anyhow, you know, I know West Virginia has its struggles and, and I know economically we have our struggles and things like that. But uh, to come in dead last, it was, it was kind of upsetting. And it, but it made me think of the topic of happiness. And so I just Googled, or not Googled, but I just did a search on happiness. And, uh, you know, happy, happiness is something everybody wants in their life. And it's interesting to me, I found in the book of Romans, Paul was talking, I believe, Paul was talking about um, people that back in the day they, there was a big, back in, in this time there was a big controversy over whether you should eat meat that was sacrificed to idols and, and so on and so forth and Paul is trying to tell them, you know, don't do it, there's nothing wrong with it per se, but you shouldn't do it if it's going to cause somebody else to stumble. And he says in um, Romans chapter 14, uh, in verse 21, it says, it is, it is good neither to eat meat or drink wine or do anything by which your brother stumbles, or if it is an offense or if, or if it is made weak. And then he asks the question, do you have faith? In other words, he's saying, are you strong enough to do the right thing to just trust God and do the right thing just to keep your brother from stumbling, just to, just to you know, are you going to stand on, on, on what is right for the sake of somebody else, or are you uncertain? And then he goes on to say, do you have faith? Have it yourself before God. Happy is he who does not condemn himself in what he approves. He said, happiness is found in the person that's able to stand firm in their faith and not worry about whether or not they've got to prove a point. They've got to make a point. Uh, they're able to stand firm in their faith and do the right thing and not cause somebody else to stumble. So my question this morning to you is, do you want happiness? Well, happiness is found in a strong, firm faith in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Happiness is found when you can say, you know what? I am secure in knowing where I'm at in, in, with respect to God, with respect to my future home in heaven, with respect to where my life is headed, uh, in, in, in my, my spiritual life is headed. Happiness is found in faith in God. There's a passage in Psalms that says, in your presence, David is talking, and he's talking to God, and he says, In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Happiness isn't found in circumstances. You've heard me say this before. It's not found in whether I have um, the right clothes or the right car or the right house. Happiness is found in a secure faith. Do you have faith? That's the question Paul asked in Romans. Do you have faith? If you do, there's a confidence that comes with that. There's a confidence in knowing my home is secure and there's a happiness found in that. So, my question to you this morning. Do you have faith? Because it's in that faith you'll find happiness. And if you're struggling to find happiness this morning, Maybe you need to take a, take a look at your relationship with God. Maybe you need to take a look at what you're putting your faith in. If you're putting your faith in the things that are man-made, it's always going to fail. If you're putting your, your faith in circumstances, conditions, those will always change. But if you're putting your faith and your trust in God, that's something that's secure, that's something that's firm, and that's a place you can find happiness.
something to think about today. Hope you have a great day today. Looks like the sun's going to shine here in West Virginia, so I've got something to be happy about. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And I hope your day is just filled with happiness in a whole multitude of ways. Goodbye. <laughs> Turn my thing off.